Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make some spring decor and I actually want to um, use this painting as an inspiration. I actually was at a thrift store and found this and as you can see there it says LN2020 and that's because I painted this back in 2020. So it was kind of funny to see it in the thrift store for sale. So I bought it and um, I can make a little money on it and I love the colors in it because they're very springy and I can use that for my color inspiration for the vignette that I'm going to be creating today. I used to paint all the time on wood and sell them in my store but it is so time consuming and uh, at some point, I just quit doing it. I felt like all my regulars had my paintings anyway. And um, I just uh, started doing things that weren't quite as time consuming. And I've had this large aluminum pot. And it's an old one in my stash for a long time. And I thought that I would paint it to go in this little vignette. So I'm going to paint this uh, in the color Cucumber Ice. And um, that's just a, uh, almost looks like buttercream, except it's got a pretty good hint of green to it. You have to be looking for it, but uh, it's just a good cool spring color. And I think that it will complement the colors in the picture. So I end up putting three coats of this color on the outside. I paint the bottom and the outside again. I left the inside aluminum. Uh, if I see that it doesn't sell that way, then I'll go back and paint that. But again, I wanted to keep it where you could actually uh, put something in it if you wanted to. Obviously, you still won't be able to heat this up and cook with it. But um, I'm just going to kind of use it as something to stage items in. And so it might have been actually better if I had went ahead and painted the inside. And I, I may go back and just paint the inside as well since you're already going to be limited on this. Uh, but I'm doing three coats of, of the color um, Cucumber Ice. And then um, I will let that dry well and then spray it with a clear coat. Uh, and because I want to add a transfer to this and I'm using the transfer from redesign called morning farmhouse and I love the springing colors of this set so um, I will add these in the description uh, these I got these at an antique store but they can be uh, purchased through Amazon now here I've already painted this and I am painting the handle in the color English Ivy and that's just a really pretty green color and it's just another color that I can bring out of that painting. So I painted this and then when I let it dry I did some sanding on it just to kind of make it look worn in places and then finished it off with a clear coat. Um, actually I finished both of these off with a clear coat and uh, then um, I will add my transfer from that morning farm set and while I let that dry uh, I'm gonna paint this little rolling pin that I thrifted to go with the set or to go with that vignette and I'm gonna paint the handles that same color of English ivy and then I will um, let that dry and sand that to look worn and finish that off with a clear coat. And I'm going to add a transfer to this uh, rolling pin. And at that point, it's not really a usable rolling pin. And I will let the person know who buys it most of the time. Uh, they're buying it just to decorate with and don't have any intentions of using it for that anyway. I actually have one um, one of my customers who uh, buys most of the rolling pins that I get in and she just puts them in uh, big crocs and decorates with them. So this is probably going to end up at my friend Amy's house. 
Now, the mistake that I made with this uh, is I decided to go ahead and put the transfer on without clear coating this wood first. And that's always iffy. And in this case, I guess where this was an older rolling pin, it wasn't old, but it ha it has been used some. So uh, I guess maybe there was somewhat of a residue and um, I still was able to get the transfer on, but uh, it was difficult. So if I had it to do over again, I would clear coat this first and let it dry, but I'm just adding this one straight on. But again, it, it's always recommended that you clear coat first so that uh, you will make sure that your transfer sticks. Now, this is the set uh, that I'm using. And again, it's called Morning Farmhouse. And these little transfers are great for projects this size. And they're not nearly as pricey as some of the larger sets. Uh, I got these from an antique store, so I paid a little bit more, and I think on Amazon, they're even cheaper than here. Uh, what I paid here, I think I paid 13 something here, but um, I think I could have gotten it on Amazon even cheaper. I just happened to see this and wanted to try it. But these colors are just so crisp and and springy, and I just really thought that this would work really well with this little vignette. So I'm adding this little rooster head to one side, and then on the other side, I'm going to do some of the floral. And then when I have these put on, then I'm have to go back and clear coat them to make sure I seal in this transfer and it stays well. Now I'm adding some distress to this pot and I'm just using a permanent marker and just kind of going over it here and there. So I'm drawing some lines on the raised edges and then I'm also just gonna draw some little nicks and chips in it as well. And that just kind of makes it look like old or enamel. And this is old, is just not enamel. And then I'm adding a transfer from that same set to the front of this pot. Again, I think I'm gonna end up painting the inside of this pot. I just think it's going to look much better, especially using it for display instead of, uh, I mean, you're not going to be putting any liquid or anything in this most likely. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint the inside. But uh, here I'm just adding this transfer. I think this one is going to be perfect for this little pot. And now the next item that I'm going to make over is a little aluminum pitcher. And uh, I usually don't paint these. I usually just put them out in the store to sell just like they are because I love the look of them. But I have one in my store that's been there for a while and just haven't had any interest in it. So I decided when I bought another one at auction the other night that I would just go ahead and paint it. So sea glass is another Dixie Belle color that I think will go really well with that painting. So I'm going to give this two coats of the color sea glass and then I'm going to seal it with a top coat before I add a transfer to this. And then once I add the transfer I'm going to finish it off with a clear coat. Now because I want to wrap around uh, the flowers on this pot uh, and I have that round and kind of odd shape uh, I want that transfer that has the little vine with flowers on there, but if I tried to put it in one piece on it, it wouldn't work out. So um, once I get this ready to paint, then I'm just going to cut that little transfer up before I add it on. Now another option would be to take this little strip of flowers and just cut little notches on it. Uh, 
on both sides of it and then you could kind of move it around that way but I just didn't want to fool with all that so I'm cutting it in pieces uh, the main thing is in doing this you need to make sure that you know the order that you put them on but I'm just kind of starting here in the center and working my way out both sides and this little transfer will almost go completely around uh, but it's still going to look right from the other side because you're going to be able to see transfer from that side also. And uh, I, I think that this is worked out really well this way. You just have to kind of put one at a time. And if you need to turn it a little bit, uh, these vines kind of allow for that. It may not be exactly the way that it was. Uh, but you can just kind of piece it together and make it look seamless. And that's the good thing about transfers. It's just so easy to piece them. Now, I purchased this little stool wholesale, and where I get it, they often come uh, needing some extra sanding and things like that. And I've sold some like this, but they're a slow sale. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this. And I'm going to paint it in the color English Ivy. And uh, so I'll, I'll paint the whole thing. And then once it dries, well, it actually only needed one coat because I want to do uh, some distressing and make it look old. So um, I give this one coat and let it dry well. And then I'll just take uh, my little finger sander and sand all the edges. And uh, the good thing about doing the extra sanding on this, when you distress, you can distress and sand these sharp edges at the same time. And anytime you can round those edges a little bit more, it just makes it look more worn and uh, not like it's just made to look old. So I give the whole thing one coat of the color uh, English Ivy. And uh, once that dries and I add do my distressing and add a clear coat to this, then I'm going to add a transfer to the top. And the set that I'm using on this one is also redesigned with Prima, but uh, it is called uh, Home and Farm, and it's another small set, and uh, I will add that in the description as well, but I just really like the cow on it, and I think it's going to work really well on top of this stool. And I thought I did my distressing before I added this transfer, but it looks like I haven't here. But I do think this cow just looks really good on this green color.
And now this next item uh, I've had for a bit. And I even painted it this uh, rebel yellow. And, um, and I just hadn't done anything with it yet. So I'm going to add one of these transfers to it. And it's the one with the nest on it. And then I'm going to add some greenery on the sides to kind of make it um, go better with the vignette. So I'll do that on the front and then clear coat that, obviously. And I'm going to add some uh, some distressing with a marker on this also. I actually did that with the little blue picture I forgot to mention. But um, I'm going to add some distressing to that. And then I'm going to add some eggs and things in the top of this and make a little arrangement in it. I know it has uh, different little compartments in it but I'm just going to make an arrangement out of this and I'll use some eggs in the colors that are on the front image and that will just kind of pull it together and I didn't get all this on video but I just put a little arrangement in there and then added those little eggs that I kind of painted to to go along with the colors on that and when I paint eggs, I usually just kind of put a few drops of paint in a little baggie and just kind of roll them around in it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.